Would you please welcome onto the pitch the teams from Eastbourne Borough and Absolute United. changes for Eastbourne Borough uh, from that side with uh, a 1-0 win against St Albans. Out of the lineup go James Vaughan who suspended, Charlie Walker and uh, Charlo Remy. Uh, coming into the lineup are James Hammond, Greg Lauer and Chris Welpdale in a 11 uh, that lines up something along these lines with Lee Wargan, the former Maidstone keeper in goal. Uh, a back line of Brad Barry, uh, Alex Winter, Mitchell Dickinson and Kai Willard Innocent across the back. In front of them it's James Hammond and Joy Jaden Perez. In front of them it's Greg Lauer, uh, Chris Welpdell and Leon Gravata and up front it's Jake Hutchinson. And the cloud is rolling across Stonebridge Road. It's a fairly dank autumnal afternoon. No sign of rain so far, and I'm warmed by the presence alongside me of my old pal Kevin Anderson from Eastbourne, who's ready to report for Radio Sussex. Ball forward, it's given away cheaply to Hammond. Ball forward by Welpdale. Welpdale with lots of uh, very good touches, but oh, the ball just bouncing wide of the fleet goal. Now Hollis. Paxman again. Now to Domi. Domi gets inside, drops his shoulder into Courthurst, Courthurst goes down but there's no challenge gets up again Paxman in the area is Edsa Paxman again, will, will he pull the trigger? Yes he does but it's into the midriff of Winter I think Mon Louis, the fleet camped in the Eastbourne area back to Paxman, Paxman to Edsa, Edsa pulls the ball across and there's nobody there in a red shirt and it's going to be Leon Gravata to play the ball away but uh, he's now covered by the uh, outer brickwork Domi, nice piece of play on the halfway line he's racing forward men are coming across for him but uh, he gets the ball out to Paxman he's in the box, Paxman on his right foot Paxman keeps going and a shot comes in caught her shot, is saved by Wargan it falls to McQueen and McQueen has to get it back to Chapman to Welpdale. Welpdale again, Welpdale can thread this through, it's a dangerous rib sleet, a shot comes in from Welpdale and it's turned away, that's the best effort of the game, Welpdale forcing Cousins into a save down on his right, turns it away, it's the first corner of the game. Innocent, delivers, left footed, doesn't clear the first defender, comes back to Innocent, Hollis is there, and there's a goal, there's a goal! And that was the softest goal that Ebsleet will concede all season. The ball was swung in, and Ebsleet, well... Innocent to Welpdale, Welpdale, Lua header. Chapman. Coming forward from fullback to McQueen. McQueen trying to cut inside, but forced out wide to Edsa. It's it, can't get the ball to Chapman, it's cut out by Gravata. Welpdale can't thread the ball forward, and Gesson. Edsa. Now Chapman. Chapman, a short ball to McQueen, it's inside. Courthurst, his shot is blocked. I think the uh, man who got in the way was Alex Winter, and it's gone for the first fleet corner of the day. Here comes Edsa. Headed clear on the line by Winter. Now Mon Louis, Mon Louis, edge of the box, being forced wide. Gets it to Chapman. Can Chapman swing it in? Yes, he can. And a curling header, and it was John Batty who just saw his effort sail past the uh, far post. Chapman slides the ball up to Courthurst. Courthurst turns. He's got a chance to make a name for himself this afternoon, Courthurst. Here's Edsa. Edsa. Domi. Oh, and it's cleared off the line. And it was Innocent who cleared it with uh, the goalkeeper beaten. And it's gone for a corner. They do a lot of uh, fighting at the moment because Ebsleet are not changing them. Here's Domi on the left-hand side. He's in the final third. Cuts inside. 
Going on a long run. It's, it's with Courthurst and then I think it was Edsa trying to get on the end of it around the six yard box, but uh, it didn't quite pan out for them. Hollis surging through the middle. Now out wide to Paxman in space. Paxman into Edsa. Edsa to Domi. Domi, left foot, blocks. And it comes back to him. Domi goes again. Across the field, oh, it's beaten away. And actually getting good positions in the box, but uh, they can't find their way through to pull the trigger. Pull forward to Edsa. Edsa, diagonal ball, it's for Colthurst to chase on, but uh, the referee blows his whistle. That's it, they go in at half time with the scoreline absolute nil. Eastbourne Borough one. Referee this afternoon is Robert Clausen. He signals for the game to get underway and the fleet to get us into action as the ball is played out in Gesson. And uh, the fans are getting restless. Chapman. Absolutely too slow in there. Forward play. Here's Mon Louis. He's in the box. Saved by the feet of Morgan. McQueen. Back to Chapman. Chapman to Ngesson. Ngesson to Chapman. And uh, Barry rises to head the ball clear, but it's going to be eventually put away by Perez. played down the right wing to Hutchinson and Hutchinson doing well to get away from his marker Chapman's there but inside to Gravata Gravata across field and a good challenge coming into me for McQueen on Welpdale it's uh, going to go long it's going to drop kindly there to Barry Barry scoops it up far post Dome is there to head it but it's not clear it's not convincing and Hammond stabs it forward and the save by Cousins at the near post allows Eastbourne their, their second corner of this half. Montana with the corner. Oh, and the ball dropping behind Edsa. Domi comes across to retrieve it. Chapman on the left hand side picks the ball up down to Remain oh, and Remain's header, he was looking for Edsa but uh, Morgan managed to clutch the ball as it was going wide plays a 1-2 with Edsa this is a little bit better Courthurst to Edsa again crossfield to Tanner, Tanner shoots yes offside and the Flag went up, there's no goal. First time Ebsley got anywhere near it. And Dennis Kutrieb looks ironically at the uh, referee's assistant. I don't think anybody complained about that, although Dennis has a word with the assistant as he goes past him. <laughs> Elliot R Romain in the box. Wins a corner. going to be a minimum of four minutes to be played and Winter being helped off the pitch by two of the coaching staff, Tanner and it's going to be cleared away as far as Domi now Chapman now to Tanner Tanner, can he drill it in and a punch by Wargan Domi's there Domi's got to get it back in the mix but they've cleared it away. And that's it. It's all over. Eastbourne have won. They'll take great delight in that. Ebsley, well, not their day today. And they go out of the FA Trophy. So, Ebsley, go on to next Sunday's game, the FA Cup tie with Fleetwood Town here at Stowbridge Road. But for today, the dream of FA Trophy glory for this season must be put to one side. So it's back in the FA Cup next weekend. And after that, it's back to league action for the fleet. But for today, it's finished with a defeat for Ebsleet, with a scoreline of Ebsleet nil, Eastbourne Borough 1. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, bye for now.